The Uralic languages, sometimes called Uralian languages, form a language family of 38 languages spoken by approximately 25 million people, predominantly in northern Eurasia. The Uralic languages with the most native speakers are Hungarian, Finnish, and Estonian, which are official languages in Hungary, Finland, and Estonia, respectively, and in the European Union. Other Uralic languages with significant numbers of speakers are Urzia, Moksha, Mari, Udmort, and Komi, which are officially recognized languages in various regions of Russia. The name, Uralic, derives from the fact that the areas where the languages are spoken are found on both sides of the Ural Mountains. Also, the original homeland or Heimat is commonly hypothesized to be in the vicinity of the Urals. Finno-Ugric is sometimes used as a synonym for Uralic, though Finno-Ugric is widely understood to exclude the Samoyedic languages. Scholars who do not accept the traditional notion that Samoyedic split first from the rest of the Uralic family may treat the terms as synonymous. History Homeland In recent times, linguists often place the Urheimat original homeland of the Proto-Uralic language in the vicinity of the Volga River, west of the Urals, close to the Urheimat of the Indo-European languages, or to the east and southeast of the Urals. Historian Gyula Laszlo places its origin in the forest zone between the Oka River and central Poland, E. N. Satala and M. Z. Sarai place it between the Volga and Kama rivers. According to E. Itkinen, the ancestral area extended to the Baltic Sea. P. Haidu has suggested a homeland in western and northwestern Siberia. <inaudible> Early attestations The first plausible mention of a Uralic people is in Tacitus's Germania c. 98 AD, mentioning the Feni usually interpreted as referring to the Sami and two other possibly Uralic tribes living in the farthest reaches of Scandinavia. There are many possible earlier mentions, including the IRC perhaps related to Ugra described by Herodotus living in what is now European Russia, and the Budini, described by Herodotus as notably red-haired a characteristic feature of the Udmorts and living in northeast Ukraine and or adjacent parts of Russia. In the late 15th century, European scholars noted the resemblance of the names Hungaria and Ugria, the names of settlements east of the Ural. They assumed a connection but did not seek linguistic evidence. Uralic studies The affinity of Hungarian and Finnish was first proposed in the late 17th century. Three candidates can be credited for the discovery, the German scholar Martin Vogel, the Swedish scholar Georg Stirnjelm and the Swedish courtier Bengt Skitta. Vogel's unpublished study of the relationship, commissioned by Cosimo III of Tuscany, was clearly the most modern of these. He established several grammatical and lexical parallels between Finnish and Hungarian as well as Sami. Stirnhelm commented on the similarities of Sami, Estonian, and Finnish, and also on a few similar words between Finnish and Hungarian. These authors were the first to outline what was to become the classification of the Finno-Ugric, and later Uralic family. This proposal received some of its initial impetus from the fact that these languages, unlike most of the other languages spoken in Europe, are not part of what is now known as the Indo-European family. In 1717, Swedish professor Olaf Rudbeck proposed about 100 etymologies connecting Finnish and Hungarian, of which about 40 are still considered valid. Several early reports comparing Finnish or Hungarian with Mordvin, Mari or Kanti were additionally collected by Leibniz and edited by his assistant Johann Georg von Eckhart. In 1730, Philip Johann von Strahlenberg published his book Das Nord und Ostliche Thiel von Europa und Asia the North and East Parts of Europe and Asia, surveying the geography, peoples and languages of Russia. All the main groups of the Uralic languages were already identified here. Nonetheless, these relationships were not widely accepted. Hungarian intellectuals especially were not interested in the theory and preferred to assume connections with Turkic tribes, an attitude characterized by Merit Rulin as due to the wild unfettered romanticism of the epic. Still, in spite of this hostile climate, the Hungarian Jesuit Janos Sanovics traveled with Maximilian Hell to survey the alleged relationship between Hungarian and Sami. Sanovics published his results in 1770, arguing for a relationship based on several grammatical features. 
In 1799, the Hungarian Samuel Gyarmathy published the most complete work on Finno-Ugric to that date. Up to the beginning of the 19th century, knowledge on the Uralic languages spoken in Russia had remained restricted to scanty observations by travelers. Already Finnish historian Henrik Gabriel Porthen had stressed that further progress would require dedicated field missions. One of the first of these was undertaken by Anders Johan Sjögren, who brought the Vepsians to general knowledge and elucidated in detail the relatedness of Finnish and Komi. Still more extensive were the field research expeditions made in the 1840s by Matthias Castron (1813–1852) and Antal Reguli (1819–1858), who focused especially on the Samoyedic and the Ob Ugric languages, respectively. Reguli's materials were worked on by the Hungarian linguist Paul Hunfalvy (1810–1891) and German Joseph Buddens (1836–1892), who both supported the Uralic affinity of Hungarian. Buddens was the first scholar to bring this result to popular consciousness in Hungary, and to attempt a reconstruction of the Proto-Finno-Ugric grammar and lexicon. Another late 19th century Hungarian contribution is that of Ignich Hollisch (1855–1901), who published extensive comparative material of Finno-Ugric and Samoyedic in the 1890s, and whose work is at the base of today's wide acceptance of the inclusion of Samoyedic as a part of Uralic. Meanwhile, in the Autonomous Grand Duchy of Finland, a chair for Finnish language and linguistics at the University of Helsinki was created in 1850, first held by Castron. In 1883, the Finno Ugrian Society was founded in Helsinki on the proposal of Otto Donner, which would lead to Helsinki overtaking St. Petersburg as the chief northern centre of research of the Uralic languages. During the late 19th and early 20th century until the separation of Finland from Russia following the Russian Revolution, a large number of stipendiates were sent by the society to survey the still less known Uralic languages. Major researchers of this period included Heike Paisenen studying especially the Mordvinic languages, Irjo Wichman studying Permic, Arttori Kanisto Mansi, Kustav Frederik Karhalainen Kanti, Toivo Letisalo Nenets, and Kai Donner Kamis. The vast amounts of data collected on these expeditions would provide addition work for later generations of Finnish Uralicists for more than a century. Classification The Uralic family comprises nine undisputed groups with no consensus classification between them. Some of the proposals are listed in the next section. An agnostic approach treats them as separate branches. Obsolete or native names are displayed in italics. Finnic, Fenic, Baltic Finnic, Balto Finnic, Balto Fenic, Hungarian Magyar, Kanti, Ostiak, Handi, Hanto, Mansi, Vogel, Mari, Cheramis, Mordvinic Mordvin, Mordwinian. Permic Permian. Sami Sami, Samic, Samic, Lapic, Lapish. Samoyedic Samoyed. There is also historical evidence of a number of extinct languages of uncertain affiliation. Maria Maromian Mesharian until 16th century, traces of Finno-Ugric substrata, especially in toponymy, in the northern part of European Russia have been proposed as evidence for even more extinct Uralic languages. Topic. Traditional classification All Uralic languages are thought to have descended, through independent processes of language change, from Proto-Uralic. The internal structure of the Uralic family has been debated since the family was first proposed. Doubts about the validity of most of the proposed higher order branchings, grouping the nine undisputed families, are becoming more common. A traditional classification of the Uralic languages has existed since the late 19th century. It has enjoyed frequent adaptation in whole or in part in encyclopedias, handbooks, and overviews of the Uralic family. Donner's model is as follows: Ugric, Ugrian. Hungarian Ob Ugric Ob Ugrian Kanti Mansi Finno Permic Permian Finnic Permic Finno Volgaic Finno Cheramisic Finno Mari Volga Finnic Mari Mordvinic Finno Lapic Finno Samic Finno Samic Sami Finnicat Donner's time the Samoyedic languages were still poorly known and he was not able to address their position 
As they became better known in the early 20th century, they were found to be quite divergent, and they were assumed to have separated already early on. The terminology adopted for this was Uralic for the entire family, Finno-Ugric for the non-Samoyedic languages, though Finno-Ugric has, to this day, remained in use also as a synonym for the whole family. Finno-Ugric and Samoyedic are listed in ISO 639-5 as primary branches of Uralic. Nodes of the traditional family tree recognized in some overview sources. A. Haidu describes the Ugric and Volgaic groups as aerial units. B. Austerlitz accepts narrower than traditional Finno-Ugric and Finno-Permic groups that exclude Samic. Little explicit evidence has however been presented in favor of Donner's model since his original proposal, and numerous alternate schemes have been proposed. Especially in Finland, there has been a growing tendency to reject the Finno-Ugric intermediate protolanguage. A recent competing proposal instead unites Ugric and Samoyedic in an East Uralic group for which shared innovations can be noted. The Finno-Permic grouping still holds some support, though the arrangement of its subgroups is a matter of some dispute. Mordvinic is commonly seen as particularly closely related to or part of Finno-Samic. The term Volgaic or Volga Finnic was used to denote a branch previously believed to include Mari, Mordvinic and a number of the extinct languages, but it is now obsolete and considered a geographic classification rather than a linguistic one. Within Ugric, uniting Mansi with Hungarian rather than Kanti has been a competing hypothesis to Ob Ugric. Lexical isoglosses Lexicostatistics has been used in defense of the traditional family tree. A recent re-evaluation of the evidence however fails to find support for Finno-Ugric and Ugric, suggesting four lexically distinct branches Finno-Permic, Hungarian, Ob-Ugric and Samoyedic. One alternate proposal for a family tree, with emphasis on the development of numerals, is as follows Uralic asterisk kecta. 2 asterisk wixti 5 10 Samoyedic asterisk op 1 asterisk kita 2 asterisk nakor 3 asterisk tet 4 asterisk esemplek 5 asterisk maktut 6 asterisk sedge 7 asterisk wit 10 Finno Ugric asterisk yuki asterisk ukti 1 asterisk kormi 3 asterisk nelja 4 asterisk witi 5 asterisk kuti 6 asterisk luki 10 manchich mansi hungarian at 7 replacement e g y 1 finno cantic reshaping asterisk kolmi 3 on the analogy of 4 kanti Finno-Permic reshaping asterisk kecta greater than asterisk cacta Permic Finno-Volgaic asterisk sekem 7 Mari Finno-Samic asterisk cactexa asterisk uctexa 8, 9 Samic Finno-Mordvinic replacement asterisk kumen 10 asterisk luki to count to read out Mordvinic Finnic Topic. Phonological isoglosses Another proposed tree, more divergent from the standard, focusing on consonant isoglosses which does not consider the position of the Samoyedic languages is presented by Vitso and refined in Vitso Finno-Ugric Samic-Fenic Consonant gradation Samic Fenic Eastern Finno-Ugric Mordva Node Mari Permian Ugric Asterisk Delta greater than Asterisk L Permian Ugric Asterisk S Asterisk S Asterisk S greater than Asterisk 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 S Hungarian Kanti Mansithe grouping of the four bottom level branches remains to some degree open to interpretation, with competing models of Finno Samic versus Eastern Finno Ugric, Mari, Mordvinic, Permic Ugric, asterisk K greater than, between vowels, degemination of stops, and Finno Volgaic, Finno Samic, Mari, Mordvinic, asterisk delta greater than, asterisk, between vowels, versus Permic Ugric. Vitso finds no evidence for a Finno Permic grouping.
Extending this approach to cover the Samoyedic languages suggests affinity with Ugric, resulting in the aforementioned East Uralic grouping, as it also shares the same sibilant developments. A further non-trivial Ugric Samoyedic isogloss is the reduction asterisk k, asterisk x, asterisk w greater than when before asterisk i, and after a vowel cf. Asterisk k greater than, above, or adjacent to asterisk t, asterisk s, asterisk s, or asterisk s, Finno Ugric consonant developments after Vitso, Samoyedic changes after Samolati. Note, proto kanti asterisk, in many of the dialects yields asterisk t, Hakkinen assumes this also happened in Mansi and Samoyedic. The inverse relationship between consonant gradation and medial lenition of stops, the pattern also continuing within the three families where gradation is found, is noted by Helmsky, an original allophonic gradation system between voiceless and voiced stops would have been easily disrupted by a spreading of voicing to previously unvoiced stops as well. Topic. Honkola, et al., 2013. A computational phylogenetic study by Honkola, et al., 2013, classifies the Uralic languages as follows. Estimated divergence dates from Honkola, et al., 2013, are also given. Uralic, 5,300 YBP, Samoyedic, Finno-Ugric, 3,900 YBP. Ugric 3300 YBP Hungarian Ob Ugric 1900 YBP Kanti Mansi Finno Permic 3700 YBP Permian Udmort Komi Finno Volgate Mari 3200 YBP Core Branch Urzia 2900 YBP Mordvinic Finno Sami Sami 800 YBP Finnic 1200 YBP Topic Typology Structural characteristics generally said to be typical of Uralic languages include Topic Grammar Extensive use of independent suffixes agglutination. A large set of grammatical cases marked with agglutinative suffixes 13 to 14 cases on average, mainly later developments. Proto-Uralic is reconstructed with six cases, e.g. Urzia, 12 cases Estonian, 14 cases 15 cases with instructive Finnish, 15 cases Hungarian, 18 cases, together 34 grammatical cases and case-like suffixes. Inari Sami, 9 cases. Komi, in certain dialects as many as 27 cases. Moksha, 13 cases. Nenets, 7 cases. North Sami, 6 cases. Udmort, 16 cases. Veps, 24 cases. Unique Uralic case system, from which all modern Uralic languages derive their case systems. Nominative singular has no case suffix. Accusative and genitive suffixes are nasal sounds n, m, etc. Three-way distinction in the local case system, with each set of local cases being divided into forms corresponding roughly to from, to, and in, et especially evident, e.g. in Hungarian, Finnish and Estonian, which have several sets of local cases, such as the inner, outer, and on top systems in Hungarian, while in Finnish the on top forms have merged to the outer forms. The Uralic locative suffix exists in all Uralic languages in various cases, e.g. Hungarian superessive, Finnish esiv, na, North Sami esiv, Erzian anesiv, and Nenets locative. The Uralic lative suffix exists in various cases in many Uralic languages, e.g. Hungarian illative, Finnish lative, s as in Ranemas, Erzian illative, Komi approximative, and Northern Sami locative. A lack of grammatical gender, including one pronoun for both he and she, for example, Han in Finnish, Tama in Vodic, Tima in Estonian, Sij in Komi, O in Hungarian. Negative verb, which exists in almost all Uralic languages, notably absent in Hungarian. Use of postpositions as opposed to prepositions. Prepositions are uncommon. Possessive suffixes. 
The genitive is also used to express possession in some languages, e.g. Estonian mu koer, colloquial Finnish moon kuara, northern Sami mu bina my dog, literally dog of me. Separate possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns, such as myanjur, are rare. Dual, in the Samoyedic, ob ugric and Samic languages and reconstructed for proto uralic Plural markers J I and T D Q have a common origin e.g. in Finnish, Estonian, Voro, Erzja, Samic languages, Samoyedic languages. Hungarian, however, has I before the possessive suffixes and K elsewhere. In the old orthographies, the plural marker K was also used in the Samic languages. Possessions are expressed by a possessor in the adhesive or dative case, the verb be, the copula, instead of the verb have and the possessed with or without a possessive suffix. The grammatical subject of the sentence is thus the possessed. In Finnish, for example, the possessor is in the adhesive case, minula on kala, literally, at me is fish, i.e., I have a fish, whereas in Hungarian, the possessor is in the dative case, but appears overtly only if it is contrastive, while the possessed has a possessive ending indicating the number and person of the possessor, nekum van e -g -y -halem. literally. To me dative is a fish my, i.e., as for me, I have a fish. Expressions that include a numeral are singular if they refer to things which form a single group, e.g., negi chomo, in Hungarian, gilia kwoma, in northern Sami, neli solm, in Estonian, and nelja solmua, in Finnish, each of which means four knots, but the literal approximation is four knot. This approximation is inaccurate for Finnish and Estonian, where the singular is in the partitive case, such that the number points to a part of a larger mass, like four of knots. Topic: <laughs> Phonology. Vowel harmony. This is present in many, but by no means all Uralic languages. It exists in Hungarian and various Baltic Finnic languages, and is present to some degree elsewhere, such as in Mordvinic, Mari, Eastern Kanti, and Samoyedic. It is lacking in Sami, Permic and Standard Estonian, while it does exist in Voro and elsewhere in South Estonian. Although umlaut letters are used in writing Uralic languages, the languages do not exhibit Germanic umlaut. Front and back values are intrinsic features of words and modify suffixes, not vice versa as in umlaut. Large vowel inventories. For example, some Selkup varieties have over 20 different monophthongs, and Estonian has over 20 different diphthongs. Palatalization of consonants. In this context, palatalization means a secondary articulation, where the middle of the tongue is tense. For example, pairs like n or c t are contrasted in Hungarian, as in hatu. Hsu, swan. Some Sami languages, for example Skolt Sami, distinguish three degrees, plain L, L palatalized L, L, and palatal LJ, where L has a primary alveolar articulation, while LJ has a primary palatal articulation. Original Uralic palatalization is phonemic, independent of the following vowel and traceable to the millennia-old Proto-Uralic. It is different from Slavic palatalization, which is of more recent origin. The Finnic languages have lost palatalization, but the Eastern varieties have reacquired it, so Finnic palatalization where extant was originally dependent on the following vowel and does not correlate to palatalization elsewhere in Uralic. Lack of phonologically contrastive tone. In many Uralic languages, the stress is always on the first syllable, though Nanasan shows essentially penultimate stress, and a number of languages of the central region Erzia, Mari, Udmort and Komi Permiak synchronically exhibit a lexical accent. The Erzia language can vary its stress in words to give specific nuances to sentential meaning. Topic. Lexicography Basic vocabulary of about 200 words, including body parts e.g. eye, heart, head, foot, mouth, family members e.g. father, mother-in-law, animals e.g. viper, partridge, fish, nature objects e.g. tree, stone, nest, water, basic verbs e.g. live, fall, run, make, see, suck, go, die, swim, know, basic pronouns e.g. who, what, we, you, I, numerals e.g. two, five, derivatives increase the number of common words. Topic. Selected cognates 
The following is a very brief selection of cognates in basic vocabulary across the Uralic family, which may serve to give an idea of the sound changes involved. This is not a list of translations. Cognates have a common origin, but their meaning may be shifted and loanwords may have replaced them. Orthographical notes The Hotchik denotes postalveolar articulation t in northern Sami, d, while the acute denotes a secondary palatal articulation s -tilde, t -s -tilde t, l, l, or, in Hungarian, vowel length. The Finnish letter y and the letter u diaresis in other languages represent the high rounded vowel y. The letters a diaresis and o diaresis are the front vowels a and o. As is apparent from the list, Finnish is the most conservative of the Uralic languages presented here, with nearly half the words on the list below identical to their Proto-Uralic reconstructions and most of the remainder only having minor changes, such as the conflation of asterisk s into s, or widespread changes such as the loss of asterisk x and alteration of asterisk i. Finnish has even preserved old Indo-European borrowings relatively unchanged as well, an example is Porces. Pig. Loan from Proto-Indo-European asterisk porcos or pre-Proto-Indo-Iranian asterisk porsos, unchanged since loaning save for loss of palatalization, asterisk s greater than s. Topic. Mutual intelligibility The Estonian philologist Maul Hellem proposed cognate sentences that she asserted to be mutually intelligible among the three most widely spoken Uralic languages, Finnish, Estonian, and Hungarian Estonian, elav kala ujub v all Finnish, eleva kala ui vidan ala Hungarian, eleven hal uzika viz alat English, a live fish is swimming underwater, however, linguist Geoffrey Pullum reports that neither Finns nor Hungarians could understand the other languages' version of the sentence. Topic. Comparison No Uralic language has exactly the idealized typological profile of the family. Typological features with varying presence among the modern Uralic language groups include Notes Clearly present only in Nanasan. Vowel harmony is present in the Uralic languages of Siberia only in some marginal archaic varieties, Nanasan, Southern Mansi, and Eastern Kanti. A number of umlaut processes are found in Livonian. In Komi, but not in Udmurt. Topic. Possible relations with other families Many relationships between Uralic and other language families have been suggested, but none of these are generally accepted by linguists at the present time. <inaudible> Indo-Uralic The Indo-Uralic Indo hypothesis suggests that Uralic and Indo-European are related at a fairly close level or, in its stronger form, that they are more closely related than either is to any other language family. Topic. Uralic Yukagir The Uralic Yukagir hypothesis identifies Uralic and Yukagir as independent members of a single language family. It is currently widely accepted that the similarities between Uralic and Yukagir languages are due to ancient contacts. Regardless, the hypothesis is accepted by a few linguists and viewed as attractive by a somewhat larger number. Topic. Eskimo-Uralic The Eskimo-Uralic hypothesis associates Uralic with the Eskimo-Aleut languages. This is an old thesis whose antecedents go back to the 18th century. An important restatement of it is Bergsland 1959. Uralo-Siberian Uralo-Siberian is an expanded form of the Eskimo-Uralic hypothesis. It associates Uralic with Yukagir, Chukotko Kamchatkan, and Eskimo Aleut. It was propounded by Michael Fortescue in 1998. <laughs> Ural-Altaic Theories proposing a close relationship with the Altaic languages were formerly popular, based on similarities in vocabulary as well as in grammatical and phonological features, in particular the similarities in the Uralic and Altaic pronouns and the presence of agglutination in both sets of languages, as well as vowel harmony in some. For example, the word for 
language is similar in Estonian and Mongolian. These theories are now generally rejected, and most such similarities are attributed to language contact or coincidence. Nostratic Nostratic associates Uralic, Indo European, Altaic, Dravidian, and various other language families of Asia. The Nostratic hypothesis was first propounded by Holger Peterson in 1903 and subsequently revived by Vladislav Ilyich Svitak and Aharon Dolgopolsky in the 1960s. Eurasiatic Eurasiatic resembles Nostratic in including Uralic, Indo-European, and Altaic, but differs from it in excluding the South Caucasian languages, Dravidian, and Afroasiatic and including Chukotko Kamchatkan, Nivik, Ainu, and Eskimo Aleut. It was propounded by Joseph Greenberg in 2000–2002. Similar ideas had earlier been expressed by Heinrich Koppelmann in 1933 and by Bjorn Colander in 1965. Euro-Dravidian The hypothesis that the Dravidian languages display similarities with the Uralic language group, suggesting a prolonged period of contact in the past, is popular amongst Dravidian linguists and has been supported by a number of scholars, including Robert Caldwell, Thomas Burrow, Camille Zavelabiel, and Mikhail Andronov. This hypothesis has, however, been rejected by some specialists in Uralic languages, and has in recent times also been criticized by other Dravidian linguists, such as Bhadriraju Krishnamurti. Topic Uralic skepticism In her book, The Uralic Language Family, Facts, Myths, and Statistics, linguist Angela Marcantonio argues against the existence of the Uralic family, claiming that the languages are no more closely related to each other than they are to various other Eurasian languages. All of these hypotheses are minority views at the present time in Uralic studies. Topic other comparisons Various unorthodox comparisons have been advanced such as Finno-Basque, Hungarian-Etruscan, and Cal-Ugrian. These are considered at best spurious fringe theories by specialists. Topic see also Uralic peoples Finno-Ugric peoples Topic Notes Topic References Abondolo, Daniel M. Editor, 1998. The Uralic Languages. London and New York, Routledge. ISBN 0-415-08198-X. Colander, Bjorn, 1955. Phenno-Ugric Vocabulary, An Etymological Dictionary of the Uralic Languages, Collective Work, Stockholm, Almquist and Vixel, 2nd, Revised Edition, Hamburg, Helmut Busk Verlag, 1977, Colander, Bjorn, 1957. Survey of the Uralic Languages. Stockholm. Colander, Bjorn, 1960. Comparative Grammar of the Uralic Languages. Stockholm, Almquist and Wixel Comrie, Bernhard, 1988. General Features of the Uralic Languages, in the Uralic Languages, edited by Dennis Siner, pp. 451-477. Leiden, Brill. Dake C., Gaiula, 1990. The Uralic Protolanguage, a Comprehensive Reconstruction. Bloomington, Indiana. Haidu, Pater, 1963. Finnegore Nepic S. Nilvik. Budapest, Gondolik Kiado. Helemski, Eugene. Comparative Linguistics, Uralic Studies. Lectures and Articles. Moscow. 2000, Russian. Helemskij e. Comparativistica Uralistica. Lexi i Stadi. M2000, Lokso, Johanna, 1992. Aralalasic Kansit Uralic Peoples. Parvu, Helsinki, Juva. ISBN 951-0-16485-2. Korhonen, Miko, 1986. Finno-Ugrian Language Studies in Finland 1828-1918. Helsinki, Societas Scientiarum Fenica. ISBN 951-653-135-0. Napolskik, Vladimir. The First Stages of Origin of People of Uralic Language Family, Material of Mythological Reconstruction. Moscow, 1991. Russian. Napolsky vv Drevnasi Adapi Proshazdinia Narodov Uralskij Azakovoy Semi Dani Mifologiseskij Reconstruct. M. 1991, Rede, Karoli, Editor, 1986-88. Uralishes Etymologizhjas Warderbirch Uralic Etymological Dictionary. Budapest. Wickman, Bo. The History of Uralic Languages. In Siner, Dennis. The Uralic Languages, Description, History, and Foreign Influences. Leiden, Brill. pp. 792-818. 
ISBN 978-90-04-07741-6. OCLC 16580570. Topic: External classification. Sauvageau, Aurelien, 1930. Recherches sur le vocabulaire des langues orales altaïques. Research on the vocabulary of the Uralo-Altaic languages. Paris. Topic: Linguistic issues. Kunip, A. 2000. Contact-induced perspectives in Uralic linguistics. LINCOM Studies in Asian Linguistics 39. Munchen, LINCOM Europa. ISBN 3-89586-964-3. Wickman, Bo, 1955. The Form of the Object in the Uralic Languages. Uppsala, Lundiquistska Bekondeln. External links The Finno Ugrics. The Economist, December 20, 2005. Kulinen, Ola Maja, Origin of Finnish and Related Languages. This is Finland, Finland Promotion Board. Cited 30 October 2009. Rebel. Uralists. The Untenability of the Finno Ugrian Theory from a Linguistic Point of View. By Dr. Laszlo Marich, a minority opinion on the language family. The Ugric Turkic Battle, a critical review. By Angela Marcantonio, Pirio Numanajo, and Michaela Salvagni. Linguistic Shadow Boxing. By Johanna Loxo, a book review of Angela Marcantonio's The Uralic Language Family Facts, Myths, and Statistics.